please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. All right, David. I did, like, I did like the first ride better than the second because okay. I felt like I felt the bumps, even the littler bumps, a lot more. My name is Dave Moss. I tune approximately 3,500 bikes per year. This is Two Clicks Out. Now steal now the steal microphone, the microphone. microphone. Right. Here's a preview. Your so handlebars are different because they're yeah, touring. An inch wider. Yep. And, and turned out a little bit, so they're a little more comfortable instead of being so cramped in. Right. Um, I'm not sure. If we'll figure that out. Is. That's okay. easy. That'll tell me when we come back from the first run. Uh -huh. It'll tell me right away what we okay, got. And then the pipe is a, is a whole shot pipe. Okay. We got an 08 GSXR 1000 shock to put in there. So at that point, that's a ch it was $42 on eBay. 42 on eBay. Wow. I had it serviced, I didn't change the spring rate. I'm 210-ish. Mm -hmm. Right, that's about where I'm at. Set the sag and amping and carry it on. Really? So we've already experimented on one to see if it was worthwhile for me. Mm -hmm. And we know it's an excellent idea. Mm -hmm. Your problem is that your rear axle is very much in line with your swing arm pivot. Okay. And we need that rear axle below the swing arm below okay. yeah so the gsxr shock is longer and gives you the correct geometry in the corner uh -huh. so you actually turn better but you rode here i'm just going to balance it out first right. after your first ride when you come back i'm going to make a series of changes and send you back out okay so you can both experience real time the initial setting and the second setting and then you're going to tell me which one of those two was better all right for all sundry reasons which are entirely either here or there. The bottom line is, did you smile more? <laughs> right? Right. I'm put a cable tie on your right fork leg and see how much travel you use. And we can see the travel. But where's bottom out on your forks, David? Do you know? No. To the millimeter? No. Okay. I do not. So, actual bottom out is 130 millimeters of travel. Okay. So if we extend these forks and we get 140 extended, where's bottom out? So 140 minus 130. Right. It's 10. 10 right. So if bottom out is 10 millimeters down from that casting, you're using no travel at all, and you're getting beat to death even more than Mark was. So different bikes have different amounts of travel. Right. You get everything. He does not. Right. Do. And on some Ducatis, 25 millimeters up is actually bottom. They make the forks long to get the rake and trail number for stability. We looked it up yesterday and it was 130 mil. Actual and extended, see how it's 14 centimeters? Right. right. So your bottom out is 10 millimeters up. So at this point in time, you are using, because it's pushing it to there, 65 mil right. of 130. So the only way for me to help you get more travel and be more smooth is to take some of that stress out of the spring elongate the spring okay. let it relax a little bit and go give you at least a hundred and hundred mil of travel at least preferably 110 catch the full video at davemostuning.com dave moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service contact dave on facebook or by email dave at davemostuning.com